Last chapter was insane. 10 out of 10. The Straw Hats find out about everything that happened at the Reverie. Luffy tells the Straw Hats about his dream. Emu destroys Lulucia Kingdom with allegedly Uranus killing Sabo. Although we both know that that's not true. And finally, the Straw Hats approach a winter island where they find Jewelry Bonnie of all people. A fellow member of the worst generation alongside Luffy and Zoro. So here we are, chapter 1061, titled Egghead, Island of the Future. The cover story still has Caesar and Germa running away. But anyways, there's a shark robot near the winter island and it turns out that Bonnie was fighting that thing. Luffy, Bonnie, and Chopper get blown away by the wind while the shark bot starts attacking and shooting the sunny with like a cannon out of its mouth. All three of them are devil fruit users. So Jinbei jumps out and tells Frankie, I'm gonna go rescue them. Frankie, take control of the ship. Y'all link up with us at that island over there. A few moments pass and that shark bot already managed to sink the sunny with all the remaining straw hats underwater. Suddenly, a giant robot comes out of nowhere and starts fighting that shark bot while the remaining straw hats are drowning. Then suddenly we move away to a nearby marine G14 base. Tishigi happens to be there with some sword members alongside the kids from Punk Hazard. The kids are doing much better now. They're actually much smaller. They're all drinking tea together. It turns out that going the Vegapunk to fix these kids was a good idea after all. We also find Helm Apple alongside Captain Hibari begging Rear Admiral Prince for Seraphim in order to save Kobe from Blackbeard of all people. Only to be refused as it would be too dangerous with all the pirates attacking. Then the chapter moves back to Bonnie, Luffy, Chopper, and Jimbe, who made it to land and they're over here drying themselves from all the water. Bonnie's over here looking at Luffy like, yo, remember me from two years ago at Sabaudi? I'm also a part of the worst generation. Thanks for saving me, by the way, even though we're enemies. Then Luffy, clueless as ever, is like, oh, hey, what's up? What was it? Bogey? That's what it was? Then obviously Bonnie's like, bruh, you know, like can't even get my name right. Then she starts asking him like, yo, by the way, uh, the newspaper was making a fuss. What's up with your white hair on your wanted poster? And Jimbe joined you too, huh? I see Luffy just says something along the lines of that's what I look like when I'm free referring to his state as the sun god Nika in gear 5. It turns out that Bonnie was on her way here all alone and her ship was eaten by that shark bot. Luffy and Chopper are hungry. Bonnie then reveals to them that there are no restaurants here because this is a government island. This is actually Vegapunk's lab island named Egghead Island. An island that is actually 500 years in the future when it comes to science. Bonnie reveals that she's actually here due to business with Vegapunk. Probably something having to do with Kuma considering how upset said she was with his state as a slave at the reverie. As soon as Bonnie mentions Vegapunk, it turns out that Luffy actually recognized that name. I'm not gonna lie to you, that's kind of surprising to me because Luffy is like the worst with names, let's be honest. Cutting back to the Sunny and that shark bot, a giant robot lifts up the Sunny from underwater. The Straw Hats are rescued. As the giant robot carries the Sunny back up, a voice inside says something along the lines of failure again, cannot control a being's lust, probably making reference that the sharks need to eat the Straw Hats as soon as it sees them. After that, a girl comes out of the robot saying, I only told the shark to observe, report, and shoot. Don't eat them because then there wouldn't be any gold. A programming mistake on my part. Frankie goes on to thank that girl, only for the girl to reveal that, who said I'm saving y'all? I work for the government and my name is Dr. Vegapunk. So this is where people start asking a million questions. This is Vegapunk? What? Number one, there's no way this is Vegapunk's actual body because we were told many times that Vegapunk is an old man. Number two, we see a punk zero two on the vega girl's bodysuit and what this suggests to us is that vegapunk probably has multiple bodies or something along those lines another interesting point to bring up is that bonnie was a child when saved from the water does that suggest that bonnie's real age is a child or does it suggest that bonnie's last state before touching the water was a child because that brings up a lot of questions i would hope that bonnie was an old lady before consuming the fruit and that the only reason why bonnie was a child when rescued earlier was because that was her last state before touching the water Finally, this arc may actually be one of the most lore-heavy arcs in all of One Piece because Oda once said that Devil Fruits will be explained to us by Dr. Vegapunk of all people. So now that Vegapunk is here, we're probably gonna have Devil Fruits explained to us finally. It only took like 1060 something chapters. Also, Luffy will probably find out about the true nature of his fruit. I wonder how he would react to that. I wonder if Robin recognizes the name Nika, if Jimbe recognizes it, if Vegapunk has any information on Nika, Joy Boy, Void Sentry, or the significance of the fruit with the government. Anyways, what is up with Vegapunk's girl body? Because last we knew is that Vegapunk was an old man. So is that another body? Is that Vegapunk's daughter? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Like, favor, and subscribe. Have a good one.